Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy multiple choice questions for you. As usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your correct answers, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. In RNA, the base uracil replace, and here is the five answers to choose from. Bases uh, pairs as follows. So adenine pairs with zymine and guanine with cytosine. And in RNA, actually this can be any RNA, it can be non-coding RNA that we can find in ribosome, for example, or this can be tRNA or message RNA, uh, zymine would be replaced with uracil. So imagine that this is two strands of DNA in the process of making RNA. So this is going to be RNA. And I'm using the same color as one of the strands for reason. So this is going to be 5 prime end. RNA always grows from 3 to 5 prime end. So this 3 end would be 5 prime end. So whenever we have here, for example, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. On the other strand of the DNA, we would have complementary bases. So adenine would base pairs with uh, thymine, guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, and thymine with adenine. On the message RNA, we would have here, so this is mRNA. So on the message RNA, we would have uracil that would base pairs with adenine. Here we would have cytosine that would base pair with guanine. Here we would have guanine that would base pair with cytosine. And adenine we would have here. So as you see, um, code of this message RNA would be the same as uh, code on this strand of the DNA. That's why we call this uh, strand, coding strand, and uh, this strand we call template strand. And the only difference between uh, message RNA and coding strand of the DNA would be that uh, thymine would be replaced with uracil in message RNA. And by the way, if we know that this is 5 prime end, on the coding sequence we also would have prime end here and 3 prime end here and uh, on the uh, template strand we would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. So as you see the correct answer would be E in RNA base uracil replace thymine. And next question, the chromosome number for human being with primary Down syndrome is, and here is the five answers to choose from, and another name of this uh, syndrome is trisonomy 21. So trisonomy 21. And that means that uh, chromosome 21 present in three copies. So one, two, three copies, and all the rest chromosomes present in two copies because we are diploid, and the question about uh, diploid condition, so 2N stands for the diploid, and 1N stands for the number of chromosomes in gamut. Because question is about uh, diploid stage, we can say that total number of chromosomes would be 47. And this is answer E, because a uh, normal uh, number of chromosomes would be 46, 23 pairs, and plus one extra chromosome, and total number of chromosomes would be 47. And genetists notate this condition as uh, 47, then they specify the sex of the person, for example, if it is female, this is going to be XX, and then they specify which chromosome present here 
in three copies. So this is going to be plus 21. And if it is a male, notation would be 47 and uh, then sex x y and then plus 21 and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye